Lisbeth. Parker. Andy Todd coming forward. And Chris Powell likewise. Four in the centre for Charlton. Well, it was uh, a side of goal, and Bartlett's uh, usually very dangerous in the air. Maybe just a little bit behind him, Andy. I think he's better than that, Martin. I think this is a genuine chance for him. He's excellent at climbing and, and meeting the ball. It's a perfect cross. He does have to scoop a little, but he gets it down. He hits the target. He really does test Van der Sar. Going for it is Saha. Can he reach it first? He does, but it's wide. And in any case, I think uh, Brown would have got it off the line. But what has uh, Jeff Winter made of it all? Well, he's given a goal kick, I think. And I tell you, there must have been a question. The referees had to make a decision here. This is what look at Saha. He gives five yards and still makes it up. This is drive. This is desire. As he takes it over the goalkeeper, I think that's dangerous. I think that's a boot right in his chest, Martin. And I think the goalkeeper gets away with us. He almost halves him in two. He's late. Look at that. I mean, goodness me. I think that's an awful challenge. Well, certainly the ball has been placed for a goal kick. You know, he comes out with his arms and he goes for it. Fair enough, Martin. But you look how late he is. Saha's got it over him. Then the challenge comes in. Whoa. Yeah. Lucky boy. Well, lucky in that he might not be too seriously hurt, but um, unlucky in that the decision has gone against Fulham. Great challenge by Brown. Not much support at the moment for Bartlett, but it's arriving. Yule. And Young as well, and Stewart. And Powell. Early cross from Chris Powell, and a very good one. And goal by Melville. Smash and grab for Charlton. Well, I can't even lose football. That's why we love it so much. You just do not know. You can dominate possession, but if you don't make it count, this is what happens. It's a wonderful deep cross from Chris Bell. You would want Butler on the end of it. He does the right thing. He knows he can't score from there. So what does he do? I'll lock it back across. I'll take a chance that, well, if one of my mates doesn't get on the end of it, I'll get lucky. Then get lucky he does. He hasn't wiped away the frowns on the Charlton bench, but... Uh... There will be extra ones on Fulham faces. Davis. Here's Brevet, play switch by Sean Davis. It's a good header by Legwinski and a scrambling save by Kylie. Well, that's better. I've got times maybe take one pass too many for them when they're looking to get in, but not this time, Brevet. Quickly delivered. And I'll tell you, that's a decent header from that kind of distance. Legrinsky, he's through himself. Is this the equaliser for Fulham? Kylie. Well, he made the first save, but the follow-up from Lewis Barmorte did the trick for Fulham. It's 1-1. Well, as such is the pace, honestly, Martin. And that's all it is. I think Saha, who nicks the ball, but maybe another player wouldn't have done. I lose it here, but watch this. Saha explodes there. And in fact, with Barmorte, who won it, as such was the pace. And this is not an easy chance. Dropping at him. He has to take it on the volley. There's a host of red shirts to get it past. Somehow he finds a, a way through. We have to say it's no more than they've deserved for the performance this half. They took the lead chart, but they just haven't held it long enough. Look at this, that's Clark to Saha. Four forward for Fulham, the ball's on for Legwinski. And uh, oh, in goes Balmorte. Somehow Charlton uh, survived that.
Back to Sahar again. This is Clark. And the Andy Todd gets in the way. This is scintillating play from Fulham. Well, I thought it might be a game pleasing on the eye, and it's certainly been all of that. Fulham have been fantastic, I have to say. Well, we can expect uh, Fulham to try and provide more of the same. And he's having a good look at Charlton and how they've lined up for the second half. A change again, Martin, I can tell you right away. The back three has been installed again. And what they've done, they're just playing young. I'll just clarify that in a minute, mate. Well, Young's back on the uh, right-hand side again, this is where he started the game, and he's uh, crossing dangerously. Here's a Bartlett, it's just behind Ewell, the knockdown. The uh, acrobatics came from Graham Stewart. That's a decent move in the first minute of the match for them. And again, it's Bartlett's ability to climb and win headers that causes the problem. But what he's tried to do, Alan Kirbishley, is he's got to go with three narrow central midfield players. Robinson's come into the central area and he's going to help Stewart and Parker in that particular part of the pitch. Here's Clark. Bar Morte on his good side too. We're just outside Kylie's left-hand post from the left foot of Lewis Bar Morte. It's hard to be critical of Fulham at all today, but if you have to be, it's in this department that they haven't quite been well clinical enough, if you like. The good opportunities. Maybe not to score, but test the goalkeeper. They haven't tested Dean Kiley enough for me with the amount of opportunity they've had to do so. Paul Konczewski is coming on for Scott Parker. Another who's come to Charlton's own production line. Picking out uh, Stewart neatly. Up there again. Stewart. And stop through to Robinson. Ewell on the far post. Oh, he knocked it down for Solako and Powell. <laughs> well, I have to say, Martin, I'm not so sure what John Solako's doing there. Surely it's just a cushion with the instep and straight. It looks to me as if he tries to pick a pass out here. And the ball's just nodded down to him. He looks to play power line, but surely he's just cushion it and hit it. Salaka. He's there again. Francesca. There are four up for Fulham here. Barry Hales on the ball. Collins joining in as well. Still Hales. Nothing right on the left. But here's Collins from the left. Davis! What a block from Konczewski. Oh, that's sensational defending. Danger still for Charlton. Todd climbs well. Well, if Charlton preserve a point here, there's a big pat on the back for Paul Koncheski. They haven't got it yet, because here come Fulham again. Davis for Collins. Wide to Brevet. And a glancing touch from Boa Morte. Sometimes there's another player arriving to steer it in, but it wasn't for Fulham then. Now this is a sensational block, it really is. That's probably a point saving block. Tees it up beautifully. The goal's gaping. That's what you call commitment when you're in there. Well done, son. Well, Ren Stewart was one of those saying it's like starting the season all over again, having had 15 days without the uh, ferocity of a, a premiership match and a, a tired muscle has been tweaked right at the end. Yo! It's a surprise factor of the shot more than anything else. A threatened for Charlton. Well, he's got five seconds for him. He should be alright. Well, Plan C works for Alan Kirbishley. His side curb 
Fulham in the second half after a fabulous first half from the Premiership newcomers in which Bar Morty scored and they really should have had several others and he did contribute to their problems with uh, an own goal from Andy Melvin Andy Melville whose uh, work at the back was pretty limited in the first half so dominant for Fulham but it wasn't the same story in the second half for Jean Tiganin's team and it's finished 1-1